the next important part comes in is research design. A researcher usually selects the research methodology and techniques at the start of the research. The document that contains information about the technique, methods, and essential details of a project is called research design. Experts define research designs as the glue that holds the research project together. If research design helps provide a structure and direction to the research, yielding favorable results. Some principles of a sound research designs are identifies the problem, review literature around the problem statement, specifies hypothesis, describes sources of data, and defines how data will be interpreted. Different types of research design. A researcher must be well-versed in different types of research design. Moreover, a clear understanding of different research design helps choose a proper technique for the research. Research design is broadly divided into quantitative and qualitative research design. I'll walk you through them in a detail. First is quantitative research. This design aims at finding answers to who, what, where, how, and when through the course of research. Moreover, the outcome of quantitative analysis is easy to represent in the form of statistics, graphs, charts, and numbers. Then come qualitative research design that focuses on finding answers to how and why. It uses open-ended question and helps the subject express their view clearly. Qualitative research is ideal for business that aims to understand customers' behavior and requirements. You can break the types of research design into five categories. Experimental, correlational, descriptive, diagnostic, and explanatory. Starts with experimental design. This type of research design looks at problems scientifically by establishing a clear cause and effect of every event. It also tries to understand the impact of IV and DV. Often social science used to observe human behavior and understand the social psychology of human being better. Then comes correlational design. This design establishes a relationship between two related variables. The researcher observes the variable over time and draws conclusion based on them. So this type of research design requires two different groups. A correlation coefficient determines the relationship between two variables. The value of correlation coefficient ranges between minus one and plus one. If the correlation coefficient is positive one, it indicates a positive relationship between two variables. And the negative means a negative relationship. Then is the descriptive. It is a theory-based research method describing the researcher's primary subject matter. This type of research design uses data collection techniques like natural observation, case studies, and surveys to derive results. This type of research design provides insights into why and how of research. Then is diagnostic design. This design strives to explore the reason behind an issue and finding solutions to solve it. This type of research design tries to solve the problem in a structure from divided into three phases. The issues is inception, diagnosis of the issue, and solution for the issue. Then is explanatory research design. In this design, the researcher explores concepts and ideas on the subject to explore more theories. The main aim of the research is to explore the subject's undiscovered aspect and answer the question like what, how, and why. There are some basic characteristics of research design that I will give you the overview of. Those are validity and generalized. So validity, there are many ways to measure the results of research. A good research design helps select the right measuring tool to gauge results according to the research objective. Then the generalized is also a good research design that draws an outcome that can be applied to a larger set of people and is not limited to sample size or a research group. Neutrality. At the same start of every research, a researcher needs to make some assumptions that will be tested during the research. A proper research design ensures that the assumptions are free of bias and neutral. It also provides that the data collected throughout the research is based on assumptions 
made at the beginning of the research. The main elements of the research design are reliability. That reliability design is done when done right, can generate similar result every time it is performed. However, yielding similar results is only possible if your research design is reliable.